BBC demos. Francis Mtalake is covering the demonstrations in Mombasa for us. And just like in Kisumu, the police were forced to disperse the crowds in town using tear gas. Uh, he now joins us live from there. Francis, how is the situation there currently? Well, Akisa, the situation here is uh, back to normal after uh, some uh, hours uh, or so uh, where the demonstrators uh, together with the police uh, who, have, who have been able to uh, to hold a demonstration. But uh, as they began the uh, demonstration around at uh, Uhuru Park uh, heading to the regional offices for the IABC, they were dispersed uh, at uh, Fontanella roundabout uh, by the police who lobbied some tear gas to them dispersing to together with the leaders from the Mombasa County uh, led by the area member of parliament that is uh, Abdul Soma Sharif uh, and other uh, members of parliament together with the senator Mohamed Faki and uh, as they headed to the regional offices that is where uh, they were be able they, they were uh, there were tear gas which was uh, thrown to the supporters and demonstrators and uh, this this created some confusion with the supporters uh, being able to disperse and as well as uh, uh, affecting some of the businesses that are around at, at Old Town. And um, earlier on, we are you know, coming back as we are heading to the areas of the CBD. We could be able to see some of the businesses have been able to reopen once more. But the conf confidence of some of the businessmen seems to be low, given that uh, for the four or five times uh, that we have been able to witness, witness uh, some demonstration here in Mombasa, they have been largely peaceful. But uh, today, uh, the police uh, uh, kind of through the the the, 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 the tear gas to the uh, supporters and demonstrators and uh, the leaders from this uh, county spoke about uh, what happened earlier uh, saying that they will soldier on with the demonstration and uh, uh, calling for uh, the CS for uh, interior that is uh, Fred Matiangi to be able to assure security and they say that since on Sunday there will be a rally by the NASA coalition they will be able to speak more with what they might be with what has been able to occur today but basically they are wondering why looking at the two two other counties such as Nairobi and Kisumu there have been some demonstration when you compare to Mombasa they have been largely peaceful and why Mombasa was among those three counties uh, that, were, uh, that were earmarked for the, the no demonstration e inside the CBD, but they did begin their, their demonstration inside the CBD heading to the IBC offices, but they didn't manage to, 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 to reach the IBC offices. Akisa. Francis, uh, last week during the protests and even this week on Wednesday, a number of protesters were complaining, uh, saying that the leaders there are not in solidarity with them. They just show up at uh, um, for a few minutes, then disappear. How is the situation today? Because the leaders at the coast have been, NASA leaders have, at the coast have been castigated for not being very serious about these demonstrations. Yes, but today we noticed something different given by the fact that uh, the area member of parliament where we are currently, which is Mvita constituency inside the CBD, has been very vocal and participating in the demos together with his uh, Jomfu counterpart, as well as uh, together with uh, some other leaders such as uh, the Likoni member of parliament and uh, uh, other leaders uh, such as the senator have been very uh, vocal today. They came out in, uh, uh, in solidarity with their supporters and so uh, what happened uh, prior to the, the demos the demos that were later dispersed by the police uh, is something that uh, they are now saying it needs to be addressed given that uh, uh, the supporters have been very peaceful and uh, looking at uh, what has been happening together with the uh, the demos that have been happening here in Mombasa uh, the leaders at, at some point last week uh, as you had put it that uh, uh, some of the supporters uh, uh, raised some concerns but today uh, there the, the seems to be a different message that was sent by the leaders, uh, by them coming out in solidarity with the supporters and uh, saying that on Sunday, uh, when uh, the NASA Brigade will be here uh, uh, in Mombasa, then they can be able to issue more statement and uh, uh, a clear stand on what is happening with regard to the politics of Mombasa. And remember that uh, this is a region that has uh, voted overwhelmingly for the uh, Raila Odinga in the last two or three general elections. So you would expect that. Uh, 
that uh, uh, the leaders, when they speak such uh, sentiments and saying that, um, yes, we're in solidarity with you, and uh, it's not that we've, not, we've left you behind as supporters. And uh, on Sunday, maybe they will be issuing that statement as they have be, been able to promise. Akisa. Francis Mtalaki, a reporter there, joining us live from Mombasa. Come has been restored in the CBD after police uh, lobbed uh, tear gas canisters at the protesters who are attempting to get into the central business district against the directive that had been issued yesterday by the acting interior 